bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome to Solid Content, and welcome to yet another new game. Uh-oh. I hope it's not too good. You know what? Obviously, I hope it's good. I like good games, but I don't think my pocketbook can take it. And full disclosure, this is the free trial. We're trying the free trial because uh, uh, one of you, one of y'all, Red Pilgrim to be clear, told me about this game. And I, and I was, and I, you know, I had to have a sit down and I had to talk with Steam and be like, excuse me, why did you not tell me about this game? It's pretty wild. That they that Steam didn't know I would want to hear about this. Like what? Why did it hide this from me? So let's get try. Okay, is there a? It doesn't seem like there's a lot of options. We're just getting right into new game. The tenants. Let's go. Oh, choose avatar. Okay. Oh, wild. Okay. Do we choose somebody that? This is always the thing with these kind of games. Do I choose somebody that looks like me, or do I choose somebody, uh, you know, different? Like play as something different. But I'm gonna be honest. This guy kind of. If I could turn this red, that's kind of how I feel. Enter the landlord's name, uh, uh, Carl uh, uh, Billingsley. Yeah, good enough. Okay, so this is Carl Billingsley. This is his story of being a landlord. Now, uh, it looks pretty fun. One thing that I love uh, from the watching the trailer is that it said you could uh, uh, you you could like pick other like so if you need money you can go and renovate somebody else's apartment while also trying to hold down uh, tenants in your own apartment. So I really like that kind of idea. And while we're waiting for the game to load, I'm just gonna pop a quick uh, couple of bugles in my mouth. Um, oh yeah, that's right. It's the ASMR episode that you all wanted. I'm not gonna do that. This, that was my last uh, little snack, I promise. Okay. Welcome to Wondersville. We're currently struggling with a small immigration crisis, but all in all, it's a great town. Oh, so people are leaving. For now, most of the city will re remain inaccessible. Okay, that was going too fast. Click on the slums district and meet me there. I'll explain. Oh, boy. There you are. Nicely done. I've seen folks get lost in this place before. Anyhow, check out your cell phone. I've got a job for you. Better take it before someone else does. Yeah, let's take it. Job. Accept. Okay, now to the real thing. Let's take a look at my old camper my friend Pedro used to live in. It might be messy make it all nice and fancy okay uh, so this is, this is the job here okay we're renovating okay so right away controls are pretty straightforward you hold down the middle mouse button you can do that right click holding down the right click kind of drags the map around WASD so already we uh, very familiar all right I've got eleven thousand dollars to clean the <laughs> I would I wish this was the real world I'd love eleven thousand dollars to clean up one uh, rinky dink uh, thing Weird that the windows disappear. Maybe they're not, maybe they're being done. Okay, wait. Okay, now to the real thing. Yeah, but I'll make it all nice and fancy. All right, begin, begin cleaning. Right, I'm in. Looks like the place is littered with garbage. Why don't we start with that? Uh, just let me just wait and do the rest. Clean. Yeah, clean it up, baby. It's weird that the windows disappear. All right, let's go and okay. You ain't gonna stop the two of us. There's still plenty to do. Do a bunch of damage. For, let me know what to do with it. Okay, well let's clean. Let, I just want to keep cleaning. Oh, this is great. I love this concept because it isn't just about. You're not playing The Sims. It's not just about a top-down designing game. Uh, I mean, maybe it is more similar. I shouldn't say that. It's more similar to The Sims than than like Crossroads or something. Why don't we restore it? Can, what can I restore this? Seventy percent chance. Let's uh, let's try to restore the couch. Let's see what that does. 70% chance. I think we were successful. So, I mean, 100% chance. Let's restore that t uh, fridge. Very nice. Okay. Uh, maybe we take down that wall. I don't know. Oh, let's, let's plaster up that scratch. <laughs> I, I, okay. Okay. This is great. Restore 70% chance. All right. No failures so far. And that was cool. You can end the cleaning bonanza by politely pointing me to the front door. Try try it. I promise I won't take it personally. Okay, okay. Are we sure there's no other cracks or anything? Okay, well, I think I think not. Uh, yes, I guess. All right. 
Click on the apartment and enter renovation mode. I want to see how it looks from up close. Begin renovation. Oh, here we are. Welcome to renovation mode. In this mode, uh, game time will run slower so that you can focus on the job at hand. That's nice of them. As you can see in the top left corner, your remaining budget for the job is highlighted in blue to distinguish it from your own money. Yeah, good. So wait, where's my own money? Anyway. Uh, use the menu at the bottom of the screen to access different renovation options. So uh, none of them are available yet, uh, but don't worry, you'll get to there eventually. You can go back to the game, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Great. All right, let's get going here. Finish floors, linoleum. Uh, okay, I see. So it's going to be kind of wanting a certain thing. Memphis, carpet. Okay, so i got to find, like, ooh, linoleum category. I kind of want to go like this with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be great. Okay, I can see it's costing me my money or my budget, my repair budget. Yeah, I'm going to go kind of, like, swanky with this one, I think. All right, so we've got l Lino. Here's my checklist. Okay, we got a fridge. We need a microwave in here and a TV. We need a toilet and toilet paper. Heater, we've got that. Fuse box, got that. Finish the walls uh, brown. He wants brown walls. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done the floors with that color. Oh, well. Brown. Oh, I see the category is brown. So, like, what would that look like? Can I see it first before I pick it? Yeah, I don't think that's going to do it for me. I think, yeah, we're going to do this one. All right, this is going to be, yeah, it's a bit puke colored. Actually, uh, perfect. Now, one of the most interesting part furnishing. Pick whatever piece of furniture. I didn't even finish this wall. What are you talking about? It's not done. Let's go here. And this will be the bathroom. And then out here is gonna, we're gonna continue with that vibe. Okay. Uh, so, toilet, TV, okay, couch and microwave. Okay, furniture. All right, let's get a, oh, okay, this is very obviously it has good, uh, Sims vibes, like early Sims, like Sim. The, oh, look at that thing. Oh my goodness, gridless placement, folks. How do we rotate? They haven't told me how to rotate yet. Z and C, okay. Oh, gridless rotation too. Oh no, I can already feel all my money disappearing. All right, we need a TV in here. Uh, so where uh, where is a TV? Laptop, uh, maybe it's in this room. When they're in yellow, what does that mean? Pick whichever furniture you'd like and place in your apartment. You can rotate the camera by holding. Okay. Oh, get some. Let's get some blinds in here. Okay, here we go. We got a TV for twenty four hundred. Oh boy, that's an expensive TV. There. Can I get? Uh, can we do walls? Can I build a wall? Is that a thing I could do? Nope, that didn't work. I'd like to build the wall. Room one, ordinary room. Okay, it's not gonna. It's probably gonna teach me how to do that later. Unfortunately. Okay, so let's go furniture. Let's get a TV here, and I assume I need to put it on something. Oh, we can just put it right here. Okay, sweet. So let's put it on like a little coffee table, if that exists. A Play X console. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> you can play Xbox in here. Okay, okay, let's find something here. We need to find office, dining room. Okay, surely there's... Okay, these are the coffee tables. Here we go. Yeah, let's use one of these. Uh, Z, Z, Z. And it kind of shows you the footprints, access points. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, this this game is uh, is very good so far. I gotta tell you, I just love the, the state of these uh, games these days. My goodness. We thought we were pampered with Space Haven, but now we're, we're pampered with uh, Landlord Haven as well. Uh, you're getting the hang of it. Now Now I'll leave you to it. Finish up the place however you like, but remember, you can meet all the requirements before you can deliver the job. Okay, we get a toilet and toilet paper. All right, let's get that done. Let's get this job done, because I want to kind of get into apartment life, you know? Let's get him a nice toilet. Let's give him a nice toilet there. Right here. And give him a nice toilet paper roll thing here. Right there near the, near the, near the power box. That's where I want it. There, so he can, like, if, if it's just him by himself, he's going to watch himself go to the bathroom, but you know what I mean? All right, microwave. We need a microwave in here. Uh, we could put it next to... Can I move this at all? Move. Can we just, like, Z this into the corner a little bit? Makes that a little, a little nicer, kind of. All right, the microwave is here, and we've got to place it on another. So we need another... Let's give him a counter. Oh, interesting. Look at this corner thing. That's cool. That looks a little more apropos of where we are. Uh, cause this is even a little too fancy. 
Yeah, I kind of want to do one of those corner units. Let's do this. Let's do that one so it sticks out a bit. That's kind of the trailer vibe. Yeah, it's got a bit of a trailer vibe to it. I like it. Uh, let's give, I'm still giving him a nice microwave, though. Fuse box. Do we not have a fuse box? Oh, I know what happened. We couldn't access it. There we go. Preferred furniture. DVDs. Placing this... Okay, his preferred furniture... Yeah. Thanks for renovating my... Uh, my... Uh, th Thanks for <laughs> thanks for renovating my trailer. Hey, while you're renovating, can you just like put some DVDs in there? Yeah, you can also do that. You don't need me to get you some DVDs. I like DVDs. Yeah, I know you like DVDs. Can you have some? Can you give me some DVDs? Yes. Can I put this on like an angle? Because here's what I'm thinking. He would lie like this on the couch and like watch his and then here's his DVD collection. You'd have to move it maybe to get out his TV, but there you are. You like that there. Thanks for renovating it and putting some DVDs in there. All right. What's this button here? This is the finalize. Deliver the job. Success. Now that you finish your first official job, I'll let you in on a secret. Your aunt, my dear wife, left you this unit and he didn't tell me? She didn't tell me either? I think it's a perfect opportunity to get your landlord career started, but the apartment will require some upfront work before you can rent it out. Well, that's great. Oh, oh, I see. Uh-oh. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Can't renovate without all utilities in place. Begin open house, no more free bedrooms. Uh-oh. I only have 4,000 bucks. Now I only have 500 bucks. Okay, this is not ideal, but thank you for establishing, uh, putting the internet back on there. Why do the windows disappear? Now they don't. Okay, that's good. Simple renovation jobs unlocked. It looks like you're ready to start working. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta save up. Installing heating for some renovation. Oh, cool. I love it. So it's like, oh, here's my place, but I'm not even ready yet to even start my journey of landlord lordification because I don't have the money. Okay, let's do this. Let's go get a job. Oh boy, this sucks. I am hooked already. I love it. I can see why the reviews are pretty good. Let's accept that job. Did I accept it? All right, go away, jobs. All right, let's go do this job here. Take me to the job, please. In in progress. Yeah, okay, take me to it. Here we are. There's the job. All right, what do you want me to do? Landlord's here. Uh, required furniture, first impressions. Don't mind decor. 6400 bucks. I got seven days to do it. Let's renovate this place. So it's just this one apartment? Or is it like, oh, these are the bedrooms. So we obviously need a, uh, 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 you know, a what's it room. Begin renovation. When performing renovation jobs, you need to focus on different rating categories to score five stars. Decor category might be the trickiest to get right. <laughs> um, not for solid content. Don't worry about the decor problem. I've been making five star rooms ever since uh, Crossroads in, okay? The reviewer will rotate will rate the decor based on the amount of money you spend on decor items. Each uh, room type uh, has a separate list of what affects the score. Okay, good. To achieve a high decor rating, check out the room info window and see what types are taken into consideration to give the room type. Okay. Okay. So what do you want here? We need to make... It looks like we need to make like a living space plus kitchen. They've got a bathroom here, a shared bathroom with a little like... Oh man, this game is thought out. All right, so we gotta get a kitchen, and I'm thinking this wall here. We're gonna put a corner unit in here for the kitchen. All right, so let's get this kitchen going on. We're gonna renovate later too. We're gonna get, let's just, let's deliver the job. <laughs> let's be done. All right, so uh, kitchen wise, um, let's get like a little counter situation going on. Now, what kind of stuff do they like? I think they like it fancy. I've got 6,400 doubloons, renovation doubloons that is. Is there an internal, is there a, a corner piece in here? I know there is with this one. I kinda wanna use this. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's get it fancy in here. Let's get this place all fancy. Okay, this is like a lot of money though. I do need to be careful. I'm kinda wasting money with this idea. I had a vision for what I want this place to look like. All right, and it's purple, it's, you know, it's purple counters. And we're gonna go, uh, hang on, let's get a fridge in here. 
I might have to sell some of this stuff. Let's get the yieldy fridge. I wonder, can I customize the fridges and stuff? Let's move this in here. We've got the sink right up against that, like that. Okay, and we're gonna put a corner unit in here, which is, yeah, it's a weird design. Like it should be, we should move it all over. We're gonna move it all over, folks. All right, this is renovation. This is what, you know, it, this is what, what it takes to get it right. That corner not quite lining up. I think I'll put it out, pull the tea, fridge out a little bit because there's always a little gap behind the fridge, you know? You know what? If it's this easy, I got to talk to my landlord and be like, excuse me, I just played the tenants and your job ain't that hard, dude. <laughs> Small table chair, finished floors. They need a cooker. Uh, I assume that means, yeah, an oldie cooker. I think they would like that. I don't have the money. I mean, I might do, but coal induction cooker. That sounds great. Uh, let's make room for it next to the fridge. Is that weird? The answer is, yeah, it is a bit weird. And yet here we are doing it. I'm gonna give that a bit of space though in between the uh, appliances. All right, this feels good. Feels a little weird to have the kitchen sink over there. Yeah, it's not like the most amazing design work you've ever seen in your life. It's also pretty good. I'm gonna move that back a bit here. Oops. Move this back. I kind of like the music. It's like complementative. What's the word I'm trying to use? Contem contemplative. Does that make sense? As a word? Let's get that centered. There we go. All right, so that's the kitchen. It's pretty straightforward. It's it's fancy. I like it. It's fancy. Uh, we probably need this, don't we? Okay, this is bad. We might actually uh, have to have to scrimp on some of this. So I guess we just put it, plug it in over the thing. Okay. Yeah, that looks weird, but I guess it works. All right, we got a, a small table and chair and finish the floors. We got a 1,700 doubloons left. Let's do this. Uh, so obviously we need a small table. Nah. Yeah, this, is, this looks great. All right. And uh, yeah, this dining, it's okay. It's honestly, it's okay. It could be better. It could be a lot worse. And I think what I'm loving about this game right off the bat is that it's not easy. It's pretty challenging. Because like, oh, there we go. Yeah, snap to it. Thank you. What about these guys though? Mustard chair next to it. No. Fern chair meal. Is there, a, what's the meal brand? Cushion mustard. Yeah, let's just get this. Oh, we could make a total slum. And we might have to actually based on these numbers here. But for now, let's get this one going on here. Let's get another chair at least. So it's got to look like they could at least, you know, chill. Now, if I select the whole thing, nope, doesn't work. Whoops. Okay. Oh, now there's a problem. Okay, so unlike Crossroads, you can't like select all the uh, positions and I like, just move the whole thing. But anyway, we've got a thousand bucks left. We got to get tile or laminate floors in here. All right, tile or laminate. Uh, carpet. Oh, it's, they're they're highlighted for me, which is quite nice. Uh, do I have any tile? Tile. So we could go laminate. We could go laminate here. Okay, money's getting tight, folks. Be careful. And let's go with like a kitchen vibe here. And carry this on here. I got 400 bucks to finish the walls. Okay, I've got to I've got to scale down my kitchen, I think. Uh, it's pretty wild uh, color choice to be honest with you. And what they want is gray. Can I see what this look? No, I like this one actually. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're just going for it. 250 bucks. 207 uh 117. We're not going to get it done. Oh no, we ran out of money. Okay, we can't finish this, so we need to we need to think about this here. We're going to sell this guy. Unfortunately, we're selling one of the one of the uh, corner pieces. We don't need it. It's not needed. Come on, come on, baby. Here we go. We spent, we got 346 bucks left. We did get rid of one of the counter pieces. This is gaudy as heck. The, unless I can, I don't know why, like I wanna be able to alter the color of these things, but maybe I'll unlock more stuff as we go. At any rate, yeah, not looking great. Okay. Um, What's like a cheap chair that I can afford, maybe? Put this in the corner. Because it's going to get me a better score, I think. Ooh, a coat rack. Let's give them a coat rack. So I'm going to put this chair in the corner here. I'm going to give them a coat rack. 
right next to the chair, which I think is cute. Woo. I've got 98 bucks left. Oh yeah, of course, a lamp. Let's move this coat rack over to here by the by the this box. Actually, let's move, hang on, give me this. Give me this, which uh, I don't think you actually can move in an apartment. Even if you're the tenant, I don't think you can just move all the circuitry. But anyway, we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put this lamp right here next to the, Oh, come on, how cute are we? 63 bucks left. We're not done yet then, folks. What about some uh, cur red curtains? For 50 bucks, we're gonna put some red curtains in there? Nah, okay, uh, what else do we got here? Special, a chessboard, cool. Uh, oh, I gotta lock up some, unlock some stuff. Okay, here we go, here we go, this is what we want. We want some decorations. Oh my goodness, rugs, baby. This is what we're all about here on Solid Content. Let's get a rug in here. Oh, <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> Hello, welcome. All right. Uh, okay, fine. We're going plants. We're going to spend. We're going to run out. I wonder if there's a way to just spend the exact amount of money. I mean, let's not cr get crazy with it. Deep sea ultra rock painting. Let's put a painting on the wall here somewhere. Or somewhere where people are going to look, you know? Let's get that painting on there. We got 38 bucks left. We got this plant here. We can sit it on. Oh, man, look at this. It can detect the... the Le levels and stuff, just right where everyone's eating. Oh my goodness, okay, this is great, this is great. 38 bucks, let's just put it on the floor. There we go, three bucks. Okay, this was our renovation. I think we did a good job, it's a little sparse. I'm going to get better, I promise. Let's deliver this job, baby. Here comes the assessment, whoa, whoa, cameras, calm down. Yeah, likes the chairs. Likes that there's four of them, again, I gave you four chairs. All right, guys, I'm popping another bugle. I deserved it. Okay. They like the choice of counters. I know, I went a little, because like, look at where their living space. It's very it's very hip. I knew they would want that kind of thing. Like, look at the floor in here. Okay. Oh, just a smiley face on the laminate. On the walls, I mean. Oh my goodness, we unlocked some new items. What is this, the best game in the world? Ooh, I unlocked a steel table too. I unlocked a lot of like. Oh, is that good? Was that a good sound or a bad sound? I only got two. Hang on. Oh, I can't purchase that. Wait, why did I only get to 2,400 bucks for that? Hang on. Set up apartment utility heating. Oh no, this is my one at home. Yeah, I know that. So maybe I wasn't, maybe, I thought I was gonna get more money than that, but that's okay. Begin open house, can't do it, begin renovation. I gotta get 6,000, I gotta do some more jobs here, folks. Player, what's this mean? Okay, go back, okay, jobs. Uh, oh yeah, no, I think, yeah, see, it didn't pay very much. Yeah, it never was going to. Okay, 2,400, let's go for, let's go big or go home. This one looks hard, but pays less, so let's go 2,400 here. And let's do this job. I guess you could take on a bunch of jobs and try to do these a lot faster than I'm doing them right now, but oh, I'm still learning and I'm having a blast. So, I mean, obviously comment down below, but I'm thinking that we are uh, probably gonna have to get this game, don't you think? Like get the actual full game. All right, we've got $6,100. We're gonna have to go simpler with this, I think. And they have a pretty simple setup, it looks like. They like things chill. They don't wanna go crazy and we need quite a lot of stuff, stone or tile floors red or gray walls do we even have that okay we got red or gray floor oh yeah we've unlocked some stone and some tile 60 bucks we gotta go like pretty cheap here oh my goodness all right well let's get this stuff done in here Fr fridge cooker kitchen sink kitchen cabinet bar stool kitchen hood kettle oh my goodness should we put the kitchen over in this little corner here or that could be kind of like a chill nook i feel like the kitchen should be again like kind of into this corner here so let's get going, folks. We gotta go simple. We have to go simple, otherwise we're not gonna make it. What is this? Oh, I don't wanna go simple anymore. Ah, I wanna go crazy. That's so nice looking. Cocoa. Is that the only one? So we could do this, hang on. Yes, it's expensive, but it's not nearly as expensive as the last apartment at renovation I did, <laughs> you know what I mean? I wonder, do I get to keep the money if I don't spend it all? Anyway, 
Uh, okay, we need a kitchen sink in here. So is there a kitchen sink that I can just plop in there? No. So then what's the point of this whole thing? I'm sure I've got to, like, unlock it, obviously. Yeah, I'm not seeing, like, a ploppable kitchen sink sort of situation. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're going simple with it. All right, let's get a... What is this? A light kitchen cabinet. And then this is the sink. Okay, okay, here we go. So obviously we want that over the window. That's like a whole... That's a thing, right? In apartments? That's a thing. All right, so we're going to get this guy right next to it. And this one... Ooh, is long, but I like it. All right, so let's get the kitchen, the fridge over in this corner here. And let's, let's still go nice with it. Because I feel like we get good bonus points when we go nice. And let's uh, let's shove it up in the corner here, so like about there, and move everything over a bit. Uh, oh, I see what we're not gonna be able to do that. Okay, what about this? This here moves right next to the sink. I've seen that before. Move it forward a bit. All right. Ugh, come on, come on, baby. Okay, there we go. And then put this guy right here next to it, up against the wall. Yeah, and like, okay, if this were an apartment that I was moving into, I'd be like, oh, okay, I'll just put the Swiffer or I'll put the broom uh, next to that right here. Okay, that's what I'm thinking about. Bar stool. So they kind of want a bar end kitchen countertop, like this kind of a thing, I think. Right? Yeah, you're going to put a bar right there. I think. I think that's what that is for. So where is the bar stool? Oh, here we go. Ha, <laughs> toad stool. There we are, yeah, it clipped in, so that feels good. So it's a one-person thing. Oh, they need a cooker. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, let's get the cooker in here, too, and let's go $9.99 with it. You were doing okay for money, you know? It's because, like, those things I bought were super expensive. That is an expensive uh, thing. Okay, so we'll get that installed. Uh, we do need a micro, a kettle toaster or microwave. Yeah, but we got, plan we got, we got time for that. All right, let's get this in here. Okay, let's get ourselves a microwave. We're going to get the expensive one this time. Well, I mean this time, like we did last time. All right, yes, the kitchen is decked out, folks. All right, let's floor it up here, because that's we're going to lose a lot of money on the floor here. I'm thinking marble in the, in the kitchen. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? That's a bit much. What about broken tiles? No, that looks horrible. Why was that 60 bucks? I'm not sure if I got my money back for that, so that's not ideal. we, we got to be careful with that. All right, small kitchen, looking good. Um, let's even put a wall plant uh, furniture. Uh, let's go wall plant. What is a wall plant? Oh, these things. Oh, very cool. Okay, let's go mid-range. That looks awesome. Right there. No, right here next to the... Uh, yeah, that's great. Okay, so we got a wall plant. We need a wall lamp. Uh, um, would they be in here? Is there another way to organize decor? So it's like, okay, decoration, special. Like, can I just put everything into lighting? Here they are. Swing lamp. So that's just so you can, like, see your food. Okay, 2,000 bucks left. We got to finish the floors and the walls are going to be... I don't know if we have enough. How are we going to do that? These walls are going to be super expensive. We can't go too expensive with it. We might actually have to just do the $40 one. That's not going to win us any points, but like we don't have the money to finish this. There, I held shift down, and that seemed to do it all. We've got $1,200 left. Let's get these floors done. Oh, boy, this is bad news, bears. What else did he want? Uh, stone or tile. So let's go stone. Oh, boy. Do we have enough money for this? I wanted to give him a little reading room, but I don't think we can afford it. Okay, we got everything done, though. We did get everything done. This is looking cute. Let's over-deliver. Because, yeah, okay, could I keep some of the money? I don't know. I don't think so. So let's over-deliver. We got this in here. We're going to give him a golden lamp for, for 50 bucks or however much that was. And then we're going to see if we can't get him a little clock or something. Just, just And we'll put a clock right in the middle of the floor. Let's do it. <laughs> there we go. There we got... We, this is an art piece. It's a, it's a statement. He comes in here and he's like, why is there a clock on the floor? Oh, it's to remember to always uh, enjoy your time. And here's your nice new kitchen, by the way. 
I spent your entire budget. Deliver the job. All right, folks, what do we think? Is she going to approve? Okay, she's taking a note down. Oh, she loves it. She loves the hood vent. Okay, this is good so far. I'm opening some chocolates to celebrate my... Darn it. I didn't open them properly. <laughs> I told you this was going to be the ASMR episode. I'm going to celebrate my... Uh... All right. She seems pretty stoked, to be honest with you. She see I think we've got a winner on our hands. Yes, success, baby. Oh, I got a review. Oh, let's see this review. That's what these are. Okay, reviews. Preferred furniture. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Okay, I ignored that. No issues. Category ignored. Oh, they, it was ignored anyway. Okay, so it, okay, I guess. Which one did I just do? Not Uncle Steve. I did, uh, I just did this one, I guess. Yeah. Cheap furniture used. Okay, well, sorry. I, what kind of, you didn't give me enough money in the budget. All right, so you may have noticed there that I jumped ahead and earned a bit of money. I did a bunch of jobs here, but I felt it would be more valuable to get going with my rental to show the full scope of the game in the free trial. Uh, I didn't want to, you know, just play all those, uh, all those things, but it was a lot of fun, and I did learn a couple of things, like holding down shift to paint a whole room, and that you can move items, uh, you can rotate them by uh, holding them down in their spot and then kind of moving the mouse around. So a couple of little uh, hints and tips there, but I think I've made enough money. Old Carl Billingsley has made enough money to get this property up and running. So I'm gonna install the heating and here comes the heating guy. No sleeves, oh, short sleeves, but still he, he's here. He's ready to give me heating. I'm about to love it and heating. All right. I mean, I could have installed that myself, but at any rate, it's a success. We now have 17,000 doubloons. So I think I got some money. First, we need to clean this place up. Send me in and let's get started right away. You know the drill. I've got a, oh, and then I've got a surprise for you. Maybe I'm gonna get more money. Uh, maybe I didn't need to do all that work. Player storage unlocked. You can now store items that you have fixed in your new shiny storage area your uncle has managed to secure. Once stored, the items can be later placed in any apartment in renovation mode. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's clean it up. Try a nice little storage area for your scavenging hunts, okay. Oh yeah, I understand. This isn't me. This is yeah, of course. I, that was I wasn't maybe I wasn't paying attention to that, but this is like this is my gramps or my uncle or whatever. And this is me here, level six landlord. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna repair this and we're gonna store this. My my new tenant is not getting a foosball table because I that's not the type of tenant that I want in here. You know, add to, yeah, add to player storage. Yeah, get rid of that. All right, let's restore this couch and then I think we're ready to go. I think this thing is good to go. Let's sell now. Let's salvage it. Add it to my add it to my storage. I feel good. Uh, there's probably some holes to fix or something. Is there anything we want to fix? Oh, look, you can kind of move around. Is this a um, an RTS as well as a sim game? <laughs> move him around like a. Oh, I love it. Okay. Um, all right. I feel like we're good here. Uh, how does one? Okay, that's my storage. Good to know. I can turn that off. I don't need it. And I think I exit him. Yeah, I take him to the words of the door when I'm done. Wait, hang on. Does that door need? Nope, everything looks good. So let's exit and let's get going with phase two. Now we can finally get to work and finish up Auntie's old place. Yeah, it looks a lot better now. Auntie used to have a, a beat up old foosball table and a couch in there. This was her chill zone. She would just chill here. So I guess it's time to uh, renovate. So folks, remodeling tools, ready to rock and roll. You can now access remodeling tools and build and demolish walls. Use them responsibly. Well, that's great. So we got the remodeling tool. So I think what we need is, let's try and bulldoze the inner walls. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's gonna, it wants me to do some things. That felt nice, but let's see if you can build walls. Just, I'm gonna make a bathroom. That's what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna build a wall out here and here. Oh, that's tiny. This is a tiny apartment if I'm trying to get a bathroom in here. Maybe we can get a smaller bathroom. Okay, what about this? Let's demolish this here and see if we can make a tiny bathroom like that. Put the door right there. You, you walk in, there's the sink. We'll move the heat. Time to meet all the requirements on the list. Remember. Oh, wait, we, yeah, okay, we do need a toilet seat. Uh, I want to live in your units. I'll leave you to do your thing. All right, cool. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, uncle or boss. I forget which one you are. Okay, this is gonna be like the, no, wait, let's move the heating to like, can we do it under? See, it should be underneath that, just to be 
fully. You know, it should be under the under the window. I don't know if you've seen me play. Um, that looks okay, I guess. If you've seen me play other games before, but I, I like to have that under the window there. All right, so rooms, ordinary room. It's gonna turn into a a bathroom, I guess. And it needs a bed, common area, seat, fridge, heater, fuse box, and a bedroom, and a toilet. Now, what happens if I go furniture here? Let's just see what happens. I have so much money. <laughs> I did not need to go that hard, I don't think. Because I think we got some bonus money or something. Okay, common must just mean wherever. And it's turned it into a bedroom, but what if I put a full-on kitchen in here? What will happen? So let's start, try putting like this in here and like an ultra fridge. What does it do to the room? It still turns it into a bedroom. So maybe we want to try to make, maybe we want to try to make two different rooms. Or I mean, I guess three at this point. So what if, uh, let's see, what do we want to do here? This is a tiny space. We got to be smart. We have got to be smart right now with how we're gonna do this. What we could do is we could, whoops, rotate this around. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out, folks. I'm gonna sell this because that's not a big problem right at the moment. Let's demolish this one. Let's build a, uh, a thing like, <laughs> I'm at a loss. Demolish. Give me, okay, we're gonna go here. Can't do that because of this. Okay, so we'll go back into the move tool. We're gonna move this over to here. That'll be out of the way for now. We're gonna remodel. This is a tiny space. How am I supposed to put three rooms here? I mean, I don't know that I have to. That's the other thing. What if we go like this though? Then we have, uh, oh crap. What if, okay, how small can we make the <laughs> bathroom? So then you've got this space here. This is the bedroom. We'll have a door right there. We'll have a little kitchen nook in here. And then our kitchenette right here. And then we're gonna move this fuse box uh, somewhere. You know what I mean? We're gonna move it right into here. Unfortunately, it's near the bedroom. Okay, it just, it is what it is. We're gonna put this over here like so. That's uh, kind of not using up a lot of space. Let's let's actually put it like sh shove it in the up against this window. All right. Okay, this is feeling good. This is feeling a little better. It's weird that the doors don't. Maybe they don't exist yet. I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's go. I don't. This might be too small for a bathroom. We just need a toilet and I think a sink. So let's see if this is possible. This is like a tiny little stall toilet kind of thing. It might be too small for anything. Yeah, it doesn't even fit. Okay, let's go this way with it then. We're gonna go build. We're gonna add a wall here. We're gonna demolish this wall. We can't just yet. We're gonna move this turlet over to here. Then we're gonna demolish this. There you go, there's your, a tiny little bathroom. I feel like that means we can get a slightly nicer bathroom at least going on. So this tiny little kitchenette area, I think this is gonna work. This tiny little apartment is gonna work. Can we get the big one in there? No, uh, that's fine. Well, we could. If we do this, I, it's going to be a tiny apartment, uh, but I want it to be luxurious. We can afford it. I worked hard for this money and it's a free trial. I can't save this. So as soon as this is done, we're done. So like, we're going to get a nice little space in here. Although they're going to have to, can we get them to shower in here? <gasps> it's so big. I don't think they can shower. They can't have showers. They're going to have to go to the Y. If they want to shower, they have to go to like, yeah, the local gym and stuff. And deal with that, but I'm gonna give them this. Again, we're rich. So this thing is gonna be just, oh, this is gonna be just the nicest though. It's gonna be small and there's no shower you can't clean yourself, but it's gonna be nice. You're gonna feel happy while you're here. And in fact, here's a uh, uh, some candles for your, for your, you know, to have a good time in there. So the walls, I think would look good if they were, what do we have here, gray? Let's see what the gray looks like. No, that looks kind of like um, a concrete, like a, you know, in a hall, in an escape hallway. Let's just go white. Yeah, that looks nice. Let's go with that and let's go with like a tile, like a marble or something if we have it. How? Yeah, come on. I mean, right? Okay. In the bedroom, I want to go soft with it. 
with a nice carpet, obviously. Let's go gray. Let's go mature. Porcelain stoneware. What does that look like? Is that nice? Yes, it is. It's nice. It's nice. We're going with it. Oh, I love it. Okay, I would live here. Aside from the not being able to... Oh, yeah, right. I don't, no, I, I want to be able to shower. So we're going to go with this in the main room here. And I think our guy or person, whoever's going to rent here, kind of likes that blue vibe. I mean, right? Look at this place. This place is awesome. And we're going, again, we saved up a lot of money, so we're maxing out. This person is going to love their situation. Again, not the, not the not showering part. Uh, okay, so it's a little tight quarters in here. I think we can figure this out, though. We'll just put this over. Oh, just we have to put it over a little bit more. Okay, so uh, let's not do it here, then. Let's put this the fridge right there as close as we can. I feel like I've seen that before. You kind of walk into an apartment, and your fridge is right there. Again, a small apartment. This is like the... I mean, I know we're in the slums, but this is going to be like the fanciest slums. They'll be like, hey, have you seen where um, Stephanie lives? And they'll be like, yeah, she lives in the slums. It's gross. I'm like, no, dude. No way. Her place? Hidden gem. I heard it. I heard her landlord is hot. <laughs> All right, we need a cooker. Let's get serious here. We need a... Uh, let's give her the, the oldie cooker. All right. Uh, I kind of like... I think that looks kind of cute. Uh, over there. Give you a little microwave. And then maybe a table right here. This is coming together. There's no chill space. There's no hang space. But you know what? It is what it is right now. Right here in the corner. I might even move it over a bit like this. Get you a nice little chair right there. Oh, my goodness. It's all coming together for this person. Whoever this special person is, I think is going to love this place. World map, of course. I've seen... No, let's put it in the hallway. No, let's put um, uh, some hanging plants in the hallway. Let's make a little design feature right here. So we're going to go two hanging plants that look too low. So let's get this one. Oh, no, I need a level. <laughs> Is that a thing in this game? Can I bring in a leveler? All right, and then we're going to put some uh, artwork on the wall there. I know we have some shelving... That might work well for this space. A little too modern, if you ask me. This one's pretty small, but it's... Uh, you know what? I don't feel it. I'm not feeling it for this space. What about, however... Coat rack right there. Adorable. Okay. Some more stuff in here, then we're moving on. You guessed it. The bedroom. Oh, that's cute. I'm kind of feeling sad in a way. I kind of want to live here. Can I get windows in here? No. I, I'm sad a bit. I'm just really proud of this place. It's kind of making me bummed. I mean, don't get me wrong. We've designed our place nice, but this nice? Ooh, a wall-mounted speaker. Heck yeah. In the bedroom, though. The bedroom's kind of where, where this person's going to hang out. I'm not even looking at how much money I, I need because I'm just loaded. I think, yeah, honestly, I think this person's gonna spend most of their time in here and then sitting here. Look how cute this thing is. All right, let's go into the bedroom. Let's do up this bedroom and then see how, uh, how well we did because I think we did pretty well. Uh, let's get a shelf above the bed like that. Um, oh, a little cabinet next to the bed. Ugh, cute. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that a lot, I think. You're going to hear me say, cute, a lot. <laughs> it's going to be insufferable. Special stuff. Oh, do they have a whole... I mean, that would take up the rest of my money, but... Small dumbbells would be probably pretty good. You know, some working out. Um, there were some things I was allowed to use in some of the builds, but they seem to have been taken away from me. So, pretty heartbroken about that. I guess they have this big white desk. Uh, that's fine. We're going to put it here. I'd love to put it by the window, but that's going to create like a little pinch point, I think. If I had to guess, I think it will. And let's give them this chair, just because it's a little more natural than this big gamey boy. Uh, what else do we have in here that we want to put in here? Like a couch would be good, a TV. But let's give them like a gaming laptop. Yeah, they have a dope gaming laptop and a little, a little lamp in the corner. Yeah, this place is looking awesome. 
All right, decoration-wise, I want to get a lot of life advice books here and some history books. This person reads a lot. It's weird, you know, a rental place. It's weird uh, that you would be decking out a rental place with their stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, normally, you know, you, you just rent an empty space. Do they have a globe there? No, they've got some little cute little candles. They've got some nice candles there for when they eventually burn the apartment down. Thank you very much. It's got them a clock over here. This area is nice. And let's, you know what we're doing? You're going to love it, folks. Where is it? Right here. Boom. Oh, what is up? What is up? Uh, got a little coffee table under there. And let's get them a new gaming system as well as a, where's the, uh, I think there's an old school one here. Future console, Wii, con <laughs> the Wii. No, I kind of want, oh, a DVD player. Let's get him a DVD player. All right, and let's maybe get another one of these. So I'm going to move this one over a bit and find that uh, shelf here. As with any new game, there is always going to be that moment of like, where did they put that? It's in the office. I'm going to have to remember that. And I'm going to put it on a slightly lower, like a step down kind of thing. I think that looks nice. We go back into the living room, I believe it was. Trilogy, a DVD set. What's up? Let's get them Dino Hop. And, uh, okay, we got 500 bucks left. We did it. We spent all the money. An alarm clock, obviously, we should put on the on this. I love how easily everything snaps into place. This is just awesome. Twilight of the Pyramids. Don't know what that means, but they have some artwork on the wall. And then I think they need, like, a work hard, play hard. Yeah, something like this. There you go. This is a hip, young apartment. I would be happy to live here, lying on this bed, playing on that giant TV, the most expensive item in the in the whole place. Not a lot of prep space for the kitchen. You know, I could do better there. Let's get them a little rug. There we are. And, and there we have it. Voila, folks. Actually, let's give them one piece of art. We got a bit of money left. 270 bucks for the Winter River painting. Now that's a perfect addition to the bathroom. This place looks awesome, and I cannot wait to rent it out. So, I think we leave. Looks like you got the unit ready for renting. Uh, let's go to the open house panel and start it right now. An open house day. People interested in your rental will come by to check the apartment out. Okay, let's do it. Begin open house. How much money do we have? Oh, no. Okay, okay. Not ideal. We should have saved some money. I didn't think about that. <laughs> okay. Whoops, we're doing the leaflet. Looks like we got our first potential tenant. Click on her to try to make a good deal. Well, let's let her look around. I think she's perfect for this place. She looks hip and young. Nice laptop. A little, you know, eating space. She likes the plants, I think. <laughs> that reaction. Wow. Okay, I love it. All right. Let's try to rent it to her. Uh, tenant history check. Uh, oh, let's do it. That, spent, that was a lot of money. What if she's not the... Oh, okay. Oh, we're just looking down at her. She PC... Look, she she likes PC gaming, which means I think she wants it. All right. Prestige B. Apartment score, smiley face. Rental price, 36... 3560. Is this what she's willing to pay? Make an offer. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was easy. All right. Wait, she's renting? Hang on. Hang on a minute. She's renting this apartment in the slums across from these shanty towns for $3,600 a month? What is this town, Vancouver? Elite contracts are unique jobs that will take you around to more grandiose properties of Wondersville. They feature an array of unique items that you won't be able to find anywhere else unless you pay, unless you play it dirty and decide to snatch a few of them for yourself. By adding them to your player storage. You have a limited amount of time to accept these offers, so you have to act quick if you're down for something extra spicy. Look at this. Oh my goodness, the little gun room and the safe. You can just take all that stuff. Well, there you have it, folks. We have our first tenant. We are now officially a landlord. Gain reputation to prove that you're a reliable agent. Achieve total job rating of, of 15. I thought we were doing okay. Messages? Yo, how's it going? This is my person, I think, Cindy. Oh, thanks, Cindy. That's my person, my tenant. 
Uh, and tenant history. Opinion? Fine. Okay, so that was, I spent money doing that, but it was worked out good. An elite contract that pays 4,300 doubloons is out. And player level 7. Total job ratings. I'm not sure what that means. We got to do some more jobs, I suppose. I'm honestly... Oh, there's Jesse playing the game. Oops. Oh, wait. I want to zoom in closer. Oh, no. I saw... Oh, no. There's cockroaches everywhere. Oh, my goodness. I am making so much money off of her, though. Okay, we got to deal with that. One of the tenants requires attention. It seems that something has happened in their apartment. Check your text message and learn the details. Okay, we've got to deal with these cockroaches, but unfortunately, that's got to be the end of this episode because we have got to move on. This episode is going to be like 65 hours long if I don't. So I hope you found this to be some truly solid content. Let me know what you think. I, I might buy this game just for myself, honestly, but if we want to see it on the channel, we'll see uh, how many views it gets. We'll see if people actually want to see this game some more because I think... I've found a new love. Mm. I think I have found a very enjoyable mm. game. Right and I, maybe I found my new calling in real life. Maybe I should be a landlord. Ah. I can go squish all these oh, bugs. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next game of whatever it is mm. we play. I'm sorry, Cindy. I'm going to deal with your cockroaches. One second. Oh,